All right, hitting the button. Oh my gosh. Bessie. Bess. Right. Is she going to come back? I think we sent Bessie to outer space. I think she's gone forever. <laughs> Everybody, I am Kindly Keen, and welcome back to Suicide Guy, or as we've been calling it, the dreams of Hello Neighbor. Now, just to clear up any kind of confusion for you guys, I recognize that this game is not associated with Hello Neighbor. I know it's not a Hello Neighbor game, but when we first started this series, I kind of looked at the game, and I thought it looked a lot like Hello Neighbor, and there was some kind of just funny, kind of interesting things that were in the game that reminded me of Hello Neighbor, so I kind of made that relationship in the series. I hope that I didn't deceive you guys in some way. A lot of people say saying that I've been making clickbait thumbnails, but the reality is, is that I just thought it was a funny idea to associate Suicide Guy with Hello Neighbor. And I'll also mention too, I don't want to get too much into this here, but Suicide Guy is a bad name for a game. It's a, it's a dumb, bad name, especially for YouTube and the times that YouTube are kind of in right now. That term suicide is a very bad term. It has a lot of negative connotations with it. This game, however, is very silly, and obviously it's not meant to be malicious in any kind of way, so I was trying to find ways to kind of skirt that line and avoid using that term in a derogatory way. So, that's kind of the basis for my idea to turn this into the dreams of Hello Neighbor. So again, I apologize if you guys feel like you've been deceived in some way and I've clickbaited you into watching this series, but the reality is is that it's just a really, really cool game. It's a fun little game and I hope that you guys are enjoying it. So anyways, with that aside, let's forget about that stupid stuff. Let's put that off to the side. Let's play some more Suicide Guy and it seems that we have a a cow a cow here there's it's a cow okay let's see what's going on with cow land all right we've got some sweet polka jams going on and clearly we are inside of a barn it appears there is a cow i'm very happy that there's a cow hello cow can i can i click you cow can i can i make you moo can can we get some milk can, we need some milk i would like some cereal please hello oh oh i can move the cow okay it's good to know it's good to know. Uh, we've also got the, what appears to be some kind of like teeter-totter type thing. Can we move this as well? We can, uh, but I assume we can only move it to the left and right. Okay, yes, we can only move it to the left and the right. I see a refrigerator hanging from the ceiling, some kind of rope or something. I don't know if there's something that we can press to make that come down. Uh, let's look for something to help us platform a little bit here because I think we want to try and get up there Can we move this over here? We can definitely climb that I'm still always impressed by sloppy Joe's ability to climb things. Let's let's try to climb. Nope can't get up there All right, let's try this. L let's see if we can just make this jump No, we cannot make that jump. There's no way we're ever gonna make that jump Um, hmm. Can we use the cow? Maybe we can use the cow to get up there. Let's Let's try this. This is very strange, but Cal, you are going to be a part of our platforming puzzle here. So we're just going to put you right there, Mr. Cal. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and climb you. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to get on top of you here. Can I, can I stand on top of you? Okay, and then, oh, hey, that actually worked. Okay, there is a lever up there. I'm excited to press levers. Let's do it. Was that? Okay, that makes that go down. So... I'm thinking that maybe we need to put that thing there, and then that's gonna launch. Oh! Oh! I've got it! We need to put the cow on there. However, there's another box over here. Can we make this jump? Oh my goodness, amazing, Joe. You never, never disappoint. Uh, we've got a box over here, too. Maybe we put that... No, I want to launch the cow. Let's try that. Okay, there's also a ladder bridge here and a magnifying glass. Tapping into our inner Sherlock Holmes, it seems. Okay, uh, we've got a button, too. Let's press the button. That uh, lowers the ladder. Okay, so we just have kind of easy access to get up here. Okay, let's uh, let's go back down and let's try and set this up. Now, I do need to pull that lever again, don't I? Yeah, I need to pull that lever so that that will, I assume, raise the refrigerator once again. Okay, so yeah, let's, let's climb the cow again. We're going to call her old Bessie right here. So Bessie's just going to let us climb on her back. Oh, come on, Bessie. You got to work with me here. Okay, let's let's try this again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, there we go. All right, we got this. We got this. Okay, now let's pull the lever over here and let's get this guy open. Yes. Okay, now go up. Yes. 
Okay, and now let's push this thing underneath the giant refrigerator. We'll just do something like that, like like that. Is that is that good? That looks pretty good. Uh, maybe I'll push it forward a little bit more. Yeah, okay, that's good. Now, Bessie, you come with me, and you get on the other side of this catapult here. You're going to become the world's most famous flying cow. I'm very excited for you, Bessie. I'm very, very excited about this. You should be excited, too. Girl, you're gonna be a celebrity. The world is gonna know your name throughout. Okay, let's climb upstairs. I guess we gotta take the ladder. That kind of makes sense. That's why we had to lower this ladder. So now, we have to get across here, and then we just need to pull this ladder and I'm hoping that this does something. I don't know what it's going to do, but it's definitely going to launch Bessie. Maybe it'll launch her way up into the uh, into the air and then we got to like come back and, and get squished by a cow. That would be a cool way to die, you know? That's a story you can tell your grandkids for sure. All right, hitting the button. Oh my gosh. Bessie. Bess. Uh, she going to come back? I think we sent Bessie to outer space. I think she's gone forever. I'm gonna miss her. Also, uh, where's the statue on this level? We haven't seen the statue. Um, you know what? Actually, uh, we've got this block over here. I'm wondering if there's a statue on top of that thing over there. I'm gonna, I, actually, I think there is. I think I kind of saw it. So I'm gonna use this guy to try and get up here. And, yep, there it is. <laughs> it's, it's Joey, he, he fell over. Having a bad day. Just having a bad day. All right, let's get that trophy. I think we've still missed a few here and there, but, uh, but we've gotten most of them. All right, so now we have a hole in the roof, and it looks like we actually have some, like, sun... Oh, are we gonna cook some ants? You know what? We should cook some ants. Um, I think maybe we can do something with a magnifying glass. You know, like, catch something on fire? Can we... Can we cook... Something around here, maybe the refrigerator. Oh, oh, interesting. I'm not sure what it, oh, you know what? Actually, now that means that we can open the refrigerator and actually see what's inside. So let's check out what's inside of the refrigerator here. Get this thing open. Come on, open up. Oh, fireworks. Fireworks in a refrigerator. That's a that's a weird spot to keep fireworks. Gotta be real with you. But uh, yeah, I like this, I like this. Okay, let's go back upstairs. And maybe we can light those fireworks on fire from up here. I'm hoping that we can. Uh, uh oh, what happened? What happened to our magnifying? It fell through the floor. Okay, let's try this again. All right, get up there. And oh, here we go. Oh. <laughs> yeah, okay. The barn is on fire now. Um, so I guess, I guess we're gonna die in, in a barn fire. That's, that's what's gonna happen now. Yeah, there's no escaping this. This is the end of your life, Joe. It's time to move on to the next level. We've done it. Let's let's try to jump into a fire. Yeah, can we do that? Yeah, there you go. That's it. We've done it. We've escaped the bar. All right, now let's head over to the next level. It looks like it's some kind of alarm clock. Okay, let's, let's give that a shot. Get in there. That's a dragon. Not sure what this has to do with an alarm clock, but that is a very large dragon standing right in front of us. Well, not standing, but he's he's right there. So I guess we're gonna get eaten by a dragon today. Oh, there's a statue over there. Let's go grab the statue. Since we saw it, might as well. I wonder if you get anything for actually getting all the statues. We might have to go back and look for some of the other statues. Okay, so we got that statue. Now we have to figure out what's going on with this dragon. Looks like he's sleeping. I guess he's waiting for his laundry to finish drying over here. <laughs> what is going on? This is so weird. Oh, we have an outhouse. Well, you know, in case, in case something happens, you know, in, in the event of emergency, you've always got a toilet nearby. That's that's definitely an important thing to keep in mind. Okay, hello, dragon. Hi. Um, I assume I need to try and wake you up so that you eat me. Hello. Hi. Um, that's not doing anything. Can we can we climb you? Can we climb into your into your cavern? Maybe annoy you by by getting back here? Oh my goodness. Wow. Um, this is a this is a nice cave you've got here. Oh, what is this? <gasps> a blowhorn. That's a good way to wake things up, isn't it? Oh my gosh, that is so obnoxious. I love it. All right. Um, I guess maybe we try and blast this into his ear, but that seems too easy. But let's give that a shot. Let's go ahead and climb on out of this cave here. And I, I think these are his, his ear holes right there. So let's blast it. Oh, oh, oh you see that? His eyelid. It's, oh, he didn't like that. Okay, can we just keep doing this until he wakes up? It's not working. It's not working. Come on, buddy. Wake up. Maybe we need to blast it into his other ear hole. Here you go. Here you go, buddy. Wake up. 
Wake up. Eat me. I'm super annoying. You are a dragon and you're being very annoyed by me. I'm just blasting your your ears with with this with this air horn. Okay, that's not working. So uh, do we do we need something louder? Maybe we need like multiple things to get loud. What what is this box up here? What's this for? Is this maybe maybe we can use this to get up here if, if there's something up there i don't know let's try it let's push this over here let's see if this gets us up all right okay and then platform up here and then oh there's an alarm clock okay i think i'm starting to understand the puzzle here i think what we need to do is find things that make noise and will wake up the dragon. He's a heavy, deep sleeper, and we need to wake him up. I know for myself, like, I will wake up at even the idea of having an alarm will wake me up. My wife, no, she needs like 12 alarms. So I just, the dragon is like my wife. I just called my wife a dragon. Don't tell her that I said that. She's a lovely, lovely lady and nothing like the reptile monster that is standing in front of us. Okay, we've got an alarm clock. So can we actually set this off? Can we? Yeah, okay. And, and it looks like that kind of got him going. Okay, so let's try putting these two together. Grab the air horn and then click. Okay, click this and then, yeah, wake up. Oh, oh, see his eyes is going up even more. Okay, yes, okay, all right. We're on to something here, but I don't think it's quite enough. So we probably need to find something else that makes noise, but what else makes noise? Is there something over here maybe? Hiding over in the corner possibly? Doesn't look like it. Nothing over here. All right, Joe, what do we do here? Maybe I just need to grunt. Maybe I just need to grunt a lot, and, and that's the secret. Oh, you know what? Actually, we got a washing machine here. Washing machines. Yes, it actually turns on. Washing machines are super annoying. Yeah, that'll, that'll wake up a dragon. Okay, so now we have three different things. I'm wondering if we get all of these things going at the same time, right next to Mr. Dragon's ear. That'll be the secret. So let's turn on that, hit that, and then hit that, and then turn on that, and yes, yes! Oh, look at him, is he, that, are you serious? That wasn't enough? Come on, man, this guy is a very deep sleeper. Let's try again, let's hit the alarm, hit that thing, hit that, come on, buddy, just wake up. You're so angry, I'm so inconsiderate of your sleepy time. You gotta eat me and then you can go back to sleep. It's not working. Okay, wait a second. Does the toilet make noise? Can we take the toilet with us? A flushing toilet, that's kind of annoying. Let's try that. Can, we can't take the toilet with us. Can we push the outhouse? No, we cannot push, wait, wait, can we? He's, he's doing a pushing motion, but it's not going anywhere. Okay, that's not working. Um, maybe if we flush it, no, because up to this point, he's kind of reacted like his eyelids kind of open whenever we make a noise that seems to affect him more or less. And the toilet doesn't seem to affect him, but let's try. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is hit the toilet, which I can barely hear. I mean, it's barely making a noise. And I'm going to run back over here. I don't think this is right. And then hit the washing machine, hit the air horn, hit the alarm, wake up the dragon, get eaten by a dragon. Not getting eaten by a dragon. Didn't work. Okay, let's keep looking. There's got to be something that we can use. Oh, I've got it. The radio. Oh, man, they did it again. Remember, we had that level where we had to use the radio in the bathtub to electrocute ourselves. I bet you this is it. Look, see, it makes noise unless there's something up there. No, that's where we got the alarm clock. I don't see anything else. Yeah, let's take the radio down to the dragon's ear hole and let's see. That's it. Look, he's reacting to it. Of course. Okay. Man, why are they so sneaky like that? All right, hit this, hit this, hit this, come on. Yes, yeah, <laughs> oh my gosh, that's, that's incredible. He is totally gonna cook us. We have become a fried sloppy joe. Yeah, that was awesome. All right, getting nuked by a dragon is pretty stinking cool. Let's go to the next level. Oh, speaking of nukes, it looks like we got a couple of nuclear silos over here. All right, let's go to level 19. All right. We are inside of some kind of nuclear power plant of sorts. Nuclear fission. We need the nuclear fission button. What did it say? Wait, I want to I want to hear that again. I was talking too loud. You don't have permission to enter. You don't have permission to enter. That's a creepy robot voice. I don't know if I like that. 
I don't like you. Your voice disturbs me. What? Man, this guy, he won't let me go anywhere. Is there any more doors that I can go through? Okay, well, it looks like there is a door over here, so I guess we'll just go in that direction. I have no idea what we're supposed to do here. Like, it's a big room, but it doesn't look like we can actually press the big red button in the middle. And I assume the big red button is what we want to press. So, let's go down this corridor, see if anything's going on here. It looks like we got some nuclear waste, or, or someone dropped their relish right there. Okay. Let's just jump over the railing here. Okay, yeah, that works. Is there anything over here? Looks like we've got a fire extinguisher? Yeah, can we take that? We can, okay. I'm not sure, maybe if we cool down? Are we trying to cool, these guys are generating too much heat? No, I don't think that's the case. Maybe, actually, let me, let me keep trying this. There's kind of a weird effect going on right here. And I can't seem to make it go away. Okay, maybe that's not the case. Let's take this and see if we can use this fire extinguisher somewhere else. Getting weird kind of like portal vibes here. What? You shall not pass. All right, you're kind of a jerk. I don't like you. That noise is very uncomfortable. Okay, so I need to step away and then the bridge comes back. But as soon as I get close to the bridge, he makes it retract. So maybe we can blind him with the, with the fire extinguisher? Yeah, that actually did the trick. Okay, nice. All right, so let's travel across the bridge here. Looking at my shadow, it looks really, really bizarre. Okay, sector two. Let's let's blind this guy. You don't stand a chance. You don't stand a chance against my fire extinguisher. The ultimate weapon against AI is a fire extinguisher. Wait, what's what's going on here? What? None shall enter. Is that what you said? I'm gonna go ahead and blast him. Make it so that he can't see me. Try to move on. Okay, that seems to be working out pretty good. Okay, it looks like we got some companion cubes in there. Let's try to... Hey! You got... I got through. It let me through. Okay. I got another fire extinguisher. I don't know if I need it. This one seems to be working just fine. Uh, it looks like these companion cubes are some kind of nuclear companion cubes. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, let's see. We got a ladder. Let's go ahead and... Uh, excuse me? Oh... We need to get this guy blinded. He's messing up our game here. Okay, let's go ahead and put this down. And what we probably have to do is build ourselves kind of like a staircase. So let's try to put this guy like that. And then maybe these guys over there. Let's try that. Get this thing. Okay, I get it. You're not going to let me pass. I get it. Okay, that I think is way too tall for us to just climb up. But I'm going to try. Nope, that didn't work. Okay, maybe I can use this to get up to this one. Let's try that. Give this a shot. Oh, oh, oh. No, that's too high. Hmm. Can I just put this like a little bit closer to that ledge right there and then just make that jump? Oh, you know what? I think that's actually what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> Let's try this again. Let's move this over here. And I wonder if we can actually just make this jump without it. Let's, let's let's try it. Let's just try. Oh, yeah, we can totally make that jump. Okay, then I'm I'm confident that I can make this jump as well. Okay, yeah, and then I just need the fire extinguisher. Yeah, that's easy. Yes, I know. I shall not pass. All right, let's try this again. Oh, that's right. You can't grab ledges when you're holding something. Okay, so what I need to do is just jump to this. Come on. All right, there you go, and then jump over there. All right, that's easy. And then I should be able to make this jump pretty easily. Huh. Oh, what? Come on, that was dumb. All right, get that thing back in place. Uh, I need to scoot it over a little bit. It was in the perfect spot. I don't understand what happened there. Slippery, okay, that should be good. I think that's good. Let's try this again. All right, huh. All right, made it, huh. Okay, now we just need to make this jump. Don't run away from me this time, buddy. Huh. Okay, we got it. Blast ya. All right, you can't see. Now I can climb the ladder, yes? Yes, all right, we've done it. All right, making decent progress. It looks like we got sector four right in front of us. Um, What is this over here? Where does this go? This is kind of weird. Is there a statue over here, maybe? Hidden statue? No, I don't see the statue, actually. All right, let's just go into sector four. I think we're okay. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so now, it looks like there's a ladder. Is this gonna get blocked? No, it didn't get blocked. That's a first. All right. Wait, what is this? What's over here? What are these? Uh, oh, there's nothing over here. You tricked me. 
You tricked me into doing platforming that I didn't have to do. Alright, well, we'll take our fire extinguisher and continue down this hallway. See if there's anything going on over here. It's been too easy up to this point. I'm a little bit worried. Okay, what, what, what is this? What's going on here? We got a floppy disk? A virus! Ooh, everybody knows viruses versus nuclear power plants is the worst thing ever. Okay, so where do we put this, though? We need a floppy disk slot. We must find the floppy disk. Okay, go ahead and hit this button. See what happens with that. Um, I don't know. All right, let's take this virus thing. See if we can put this somewhere. Um, is there something over here that we can plug it into? Maybe, possibly, no, it doesn't look like there's anything over there. Oh, you know what? Actually, what we should probably do is grab a fire extinguisher and bring it into here. Also, oh, there's the statue. Okay, so we can grab the statue by getting the fire extinguisher into this area. So let's go ahead and climb back up here. I think this is where we came from. Go ahead, get that ladder. All right, get up here. Come on, you can do it, buddy. All right, and then let's grab a fire extinguisher. I think there's a fresh one right here. We'll go ahead and grab this one. And now we can actually blind the scary AI robot man. So we should be able to grab the statue that is right over here, right? Yes, okay, so blind him. Don't care about your permission. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. Nice, I like that pose. Good pose, Sloppy Joe. All right, so now um, we gotta blind, we can probably blind this guy over here, and I'm betting that this is where we put the virus. So let's go ahead. Yeah, I don't care, man. I got the secret, I got it. Yep, there we go, insert floppy. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab the floppy disk over here. Look at that shadow, what a weird looking shadow. Oh man, all right, Sloppy Joe, you're a funny looking fella. All right, take this bad boy, plug it in, right there. Yes, unlocked, okay. What, what, I don't, just, we, we're gonna take his memory away? Just pull out all of his memory. What are you gonna do now, buddy? Yeah, that's what I thought. Shut it down. All right. I think that will give us access to the giant red button and ultimately end in us blowing up in a nuclear catastrophe. Let's do this. Hit the button. Oh, man. Oh, there they go. Yes, we've done it. Wait, what? Why am I still alive? Am I? Okay. Now, yeah. Now I'm super dead. Super, super dead. All right. We did it. Not too shabby. All right, guys. Well, that is going to do it for this episode of Suicide Guy. I hope that you guys are enjoying this series as much as I am. I'm having a ton of fun. And again, I apologize for all that rambling that I did early on. I just kind of wanted to address that. But that is all I wanted to say. No more about that. I think we're going to call it on this episode. The levels are definitely getting a lot more complicated and a lot longer, too. So we may not be able to fit as many levels as we were able to before in previous episodes. But it's looking like we have one, two, three, four, five more levels. So there's 24 total levels. So it could be that the next episode is our final episode of Suicide Guy. So keep an eye out for that episode. But that is going to do it for this episode. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And of course, if you'd like to see more, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking that little circle with my logo in it right below this window. But that is going to do it. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for all your support, guys. And I I will see you guys next time.